Hello all, today in this video, I am going to provide details regarding an LCBA publisher journal which is indexed in Scopus SCA and also in Annexure that is Anna University uh, journal. I am just moving this uh, journal uh, preview from the Scopus preview page, Web of Science homepage that is Clarivate Analysis and also the Annexure link. Uh, why? Because uh, you may know that all this indexing will get discontinued that journal time to time. So, why the, to just let you know that these journals are indexed in the corresponding indexing while I am making this video. I am just uh, making this video from this uh, preview page. So, if you are taking this uh, journal at some other timings, please check whether these journals are indexed at this corresponding indexing at that particular time. Uh, so, the journal which we are going to have a look today is A. EU International Journal of Electronics and Communication which is an LCBA publisher journal and it is going to cover subjects related to electrical and electronic engineering and the documents published from 2019 to 22 is 1456 and I said it is also indexed in AU uh, before uh, letting know that another journals we can just check with uh, uh, this uh, thing that is its coverage years is from 2001 to present and the source type is journal here we are having a source homepage link so you will be automatically redirected to the source homepage of the journal so there is no chance of letting you to some clone journals in some cases this uh, link will not be available in that case you have to just check the publisher details and also the scopus content coverage to check how many articles has been published so far in this journal. So in 2022 nearly 285 documents has been published and in the 2023 uh, 316 documents has been published. Then I said this journal is also indexed in Web of Science that is Science Citation Index Expanded. So from Clarivate Analysis you can just check it is indexed in Web of Science too. Uh, so we can just move to the profile page to just check how many issues it is having per year and its frequency. Its frequency is monthly and it is having nearly 15 issues and some other uh, details regarding this journal is also given over here. If it is a paid journal, they would have mentioned the article processing charges that is APC over here. But here they haven't mentioned so it is an unpaid journal. But uh, uh, I think a uh, subscription mode and also open access mode is also available in this journal. So you can just check. Uh, apart from that, I also said that it is indexed in Annexure. You can see in the Anna University homepage also this journal is available. So then we can just move to the home page of the journal. So it is going to cover subjects related to electrical and electronics engineering. Uh, so then the first decision will happen within 1.3 weeks and the review time is 2.1 weeks. Publication time is 1.1 week. This time may vary or it will be the same based on the availability of the reviewers and some other criteria. So some other details regarding this journal is given over here. It is indexed in Web of Science, SCI, E, then Scopus and some other indexing too. Then we can see how many issues this journal is having. In the Web of Science homepage, we saw it is having nearly 15 issues. Uh, it may uh, be same but sometimes it may vary due to some updation variations. You can just check with the, the 2000 how many issues has been published. Yes, in 2023, uh, uh, 215 issues has been published. In 2023, uh, 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 already 171 issues is in progress. We can just check an uh, article which is indexed in this journal. If any PDF is available, means we can just check that PDF because in that we would have mentioned how many journals will be available in that etc that is how much date it will take from acceptance till received till acceptance so here they have given an uh, uh, pdf since it's an open access journal here we can view the pdf of the journal uh, so apart from that if it is not open access means you have to just check its uh, doi number and based on that you can just uh, uh, download that article now we can see the article is received in 7th February 2022 and within 
3 to 4 months the paper has been accepted you can just check with 3 to 4 months the paper has been accepted and also you can check with some other pdf also whether this is same or different because some may, uh, sometimes it may vary based on the availability of the reviewers and some other criteria also so we can just check based on that So here a research article is available. So here we can just check. Uh, it's acceptance dates. It's a receiving date second all. So it is received in February within four to five months, but it's a, uh, in the previous article it was May, here it was June. So within four to five months the paper has been accepted. So this is the details regarding this journal. I am just sharing the overview of the journal. So if you are interested in this journal, means please check the journal link which we have shared in the description box. Thank you.